Afternoon, Governor Baker signed into law a bill banning drivers from handheld cell phone use. Now, this law is supposed to make our roads safer, and police say the new law makes their jobs easier. WBZ's Beth Tremano is live at the State House tonight with the latest on this story. Beth? Well, it was an emotional ceremony, especially for families who've lost loved ones and have been fighting for years to get this bill signed into law. Today, they call the signing a victory that will save lives. And with the stroke of a pen from Governor Charlie Baker, the long-awaited hands-free bill became law in Massachusetts, signed in front of the families who lost loved ones to distracted driving, including Jerry Sibley, whose son Jordan died 12 years ago and thought he wouldn't see this day. I took a back seat about two years ago when it failed again, and uh, finally I was able to pick myself off the floor and get back on the horse, and I have been charging forward ever since. It's already illegal to text while driving in the state, but police say that can be hard to enforce. Walpole's police chief says this will now help officers. Before with, you know, the trying to establish whether or not somebody was texting or uh, making a phone call is pretty much impossible. So now this kind of uh, opens up our ability to uh, actually see, more, you know, any more movement uh, that's taken place. The law will allow drivers to view maps on a navigation system as long as the device is mounted on the car's windshield or dashboard. This is not a panacea for road safety, but we all know and are so proud of this bill because it will save lives. Now, one holdup on this new law had been a requirement that the Registry of Motor Vehicles collect data on drivers during traffic stops to make sure the law is evenly applied and there's no racial profiling. Lawmakers feel those concerns have been addressed, and they say the timing of the signing today is especially appropriate on one of the busiest travel weeks of the year. Reporting live from the State House, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Oh, this was